We're asking everybody, how'd you get here? Um, Christian Lewis, uh, he talked to Basil and then asked if uh, he needed pitching. So then that's how I got here. <laughs> Did you know anything about Jamestown, New York at all? No. Did you Google it up? Uh, I Googled the field. Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> did it show you anything that would, did, 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 when you came here, did it surprise you? Yeah, a little bit. I wasn't expecting um, the field to be so nice, to be honest. Um, and it's a pretty small town. I thought it was going to be a little bigger, but yeah. it's all right. <laughs> Have you had a chance to see some of the area, like the lake, and you've been, been on about? Yeah, I've been to the lake. Um, I've been all over Jamestown. I think I've seen most of it so far. And the most impressive thing was the Jackson Center, of course. The Jackson Center? <laughs> uh. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. That was a leading, leading question. That was a leading question. If you haven't seen it, I tell you, both of you guys, that uh, go to the National Comedy Center if you don't. You know I've seen it, yeah. yeah. I saw it. Yeah, it's good. That's, that's really the go-to place here. Mm -hmm. So you've had a chance to... Uh, be here to have a chance to get this camaraderie of the team. Mm -hmm. Do you get a sense how that occurred? I mean, I get this. Everybody's been talking about the collegiality and everybody's warmth. And uh, mm -hmm. how did how did that happen? I just. <coughs> I think after our first game, when we won, like we came back and won, everyone like kind of bonded together. Like if we lost that first game, I don't think it would have been the same. Right. But because we came back and won, I think everybody like was like, damn, this is awesome. So I think that's how it happened. You were on the road quite a bit that beginning of the season. Yeah, the first five or six games. Yeah. Five games, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And we won it with four and one, and then that, I think, helped everyone bond a lot. So. Then you came back here. We do a big, big crowd. Yeah, yeah. For us, for our purposes, it was a yeah. Probably a huge crowd. Yeah. Um, Coach Powell, mm -hmm. talk to me about him. Uh, he's a good guy. He knows a lot. Um, he's pretty funny. I like how he talks. He's got that accent. Um. But he's done a lot for us, I think, and he kind of—I think he organized the pitching more when he came, uh, and I think he helped the team a lot with that. So during a game, what what kind of routine do you guys go through? I mean, uh, are you normally everybody in the dugout, and then then he sends a few people out in the bullpen? How does that work? Um, no, well, we'll sit in our bullpen. Okay. You like. You either sit in the pen or you sit in the dugout. Is that your um, choice or his? Your choice. Okay. Uh, I'm normally in the pen, just hanging out with the pitchers. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, it's just up to you. Just when you're out there waiting and waiting, when you're out seemingly out there along the left field line, and you're yeah, how, how do you keep in, in the game if you will? Because sometimes uh, it's a long wait. Yeah, I mean, you just kind of joke around with your buds in there, and but but you're locked in into the game, and mm -hmm. you know what's going on. Um, so. George Carlo, has he been working with you at all? Are you one of his? No, no. Yeah. I don't even know who that is. George oh, Carlo. Doctor Carlo. Doctor Carlo. Oh, 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 no! I never. I never talked to him. Was he giving you his app, app on Secret Champions? He Champions? did, he did, but I, I didn't mess around with it. Unfortunately, I probably should have, but uh, I didn't. So you've uh, had some thrilling games here this first three quarters of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, where were you in uh, uh, the Geneva game when JB was trying to run from third to home? Uh, we were all in the dugout because that was the last inning. Uh, but we were like on the fence. I was on the fence just <laughs> looking, and then I'm like, holy crap, we're going to win. And then he falls. And then I turn my head. I'm like, oh, God, we just lost. And then 
I look back and he's like crawling, getting to the plate and he was safe and like, that was crazy. That was unbelievable. Yeah, both, both ninth and 10th inning, that was just yeah. surreal. We should have lost every, every way possible. <laughs> yeah. It was obviously meant to be. Yep. Uh, so when you go back to school mm -hmm. and your teammates and roommates and stuff ask you what was your experience like here in Jamestown this summer, what are you going to tell them? I, it was a great experience. I haven't played um, on a team in about three years, so this was like really awesome for me to like see what it's like again to be on like with a with like family, make make some bonds, have a great time, win games. So that's what I'd say. Does your family listen to you on, on, on the radio and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. And then when we're away, we watch the they watch the games as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's good. Well, we're delighted you're here. This is great. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. What's any question I should have asked you that I haven't? Um. What do you think of some of these guys over here waiting for you? <laughs> Uh, I don't, I'm, I mean, I think you did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's gratuitous. But, all right, I love this team. So, I every, love this every team. game seemingly I hear somebody screaming that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know who it is. Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. That's is that Johnny. the rallying cry? Yeah. Yeah. It gets us going. <laughs> well, so. Well, may it continue to be, and we look yep. forward to uh, the, the playoffs. So, yep. thank you very much, and yeah. we'll see you tonight, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck tonight.